All right, you're going to love him just as much as I do. Y'all give it up for Christopher Anthony, everybody. <laughs> I do smart, well-written comedy, and there has been a ton of sex jokes this evening. Yes. I, I mean, that and the tables, I feel like I'm sitting at a lunch table in junior high, you guys, come on. You guys like pets? Yes! Okay, yes. cool, can we just do like an innocent joke about, okay, great. So, my friend really wanted a dog. Um, and so she borrowed other people's dogs and after five months she went ahead and adopted a dog because she couldn't have one naturally and that's just what she did. No I um I got my grandma a rape whistle. Um, just to let her know she still got it, you know what I mean? Get your hopes up, you know? She was unfamiliar with this, you know, new age technology. She calls me a week later and said that the rape whistle was broken. I'm like, what are you talking about? She said, okay, I blew it. It was like one in the afternoon. By two o'clock, no one came. I'm like, oh my gosh, you were assaulted and sat there for an hour? She's like, no, I blew it and no one fucked me. Like, And I, I get it, rape isn't funny, but my grandma sure as fuck is. Yeah, yeah. My friend's an ER nurse. She works overnight. She said about a third of the people who come into the nursery room at night actually have something of some size stuck inside their ass. Yeah. Which is weird, because most of them aren't even there for that. It just shows up in the x-ray. It's like, I cut my arm pretty severely. Can you just, that, that was $65. Can we just leave that in and focus over? I'm sorry. I don't give you shit about your hobbies, okay? And thanks to my hobbies, I don't shit right. So anyway. My girlfriend said that the only way that she would give me roadhead again is if I drove. So. It's not as kinky, but I guess we'll try it, you know? And we'll have to try it in my car, because her car, well, <laughs> you can guess. All right. It's always difficult in relationships. You have that conversation about previous lovers. It's awkward. It ends up happening. Fellas, I have found it is much easier to have that conversation if we initiate. Try my proven tactic. I sat down with my lady and said, look, let's both talk about how many men we've slept with. I'm gonna go first. Zero. Never experimented. Okay, uh, what are... Double digits? Triple digits? Oh, bathroom break. That's fine. I'm still here. I'm here for you. Few more quick ones. Um, I was, ladies, I don't get this. You do this thing where it's like deeper, deeper. Why do you do that? It's a dick, not the Star Wars franchise. Oh. It's not like, oh, you thought you saw all the dick? We got three more episodes of dick. It's crazy. I have a tattoo halfway down my penis. It says, to be continued. Most women never even know to ask for it. But if you want that, I've got it for you. Don't, I would never be having sex with a girl and be like, shallower, shallower. I want to hit a wall. Does it ever end? Sweet Jesus, I can't swim this deep. I would never do that. Plus, it doesn't get any shallower when you meet on Tinder. You know what I mean? It's just it was photos. That's all we care about. It's like a menu. What am I in the mood for? Hmm. All right, last joke. Be careful what you say in the bedroom, okay? Be careful. I'm having sex with my lady. My lady, in case you guys are still confused by the shirt. Um, and she whispers to me, and I'm like, there's no one else in the room. We're not in the library. Speak up, come on. She says, I want you to make me feel So I did what I thought any man would do. I, uh, I tied her hands to the headboard. 
I tie your feet to the floor. Oh. I put a gag in her mouth. Oh. And then I looked at her cell phone. Oh. I've never seen Fifty Shades of Grey. I thought that was porn for the elderly. Because um, of that hair. All right. Oh. Hey. Guys, you had a fucking good time. I'm having yeah. a fucking awesome time. Let's hear it. <sighs> Guys, Chris.